Good evening. I hope that you are having an awesome summer. Today is Motivational Monday. And last week, my husband did Motivational Monday, and it's me today um, for Motivational Monday. And I was just really pondering on what to share with everyone. I know it's summertime, and my husband talked a lot about um, different challenges that can happen in the summer and just to keep pushing forward, keep pushing that train up the mountain instead of giving up. So my theme today is don't give up and the small stuff counts. Um, even when you feel like it doesn't. Hey Don, thanks for joining me. Um, we started our day out with picking blueberries and it was so much fun and my son helped me freeze a lot of them and we love to eat them. And then our friend had us over for tubing, so it was a lot of fun. But today for Motivational Monday, don't give up. The small things do matter. You know, there's that book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. I'm saying the opposite. Sweat it. <laughs> um, let me just give you a little example um, from this past weekend. Um, I was very exhausted. My son um, just got recently got his wisdom teeth pulled on Thursday. I had an event on Friday. I found out my daughter has scoliosis, running her to the chiropractor, setting schedules for physical therapy, getting another doctor's second opinion, um, just running around, helping my kids get ready for youth conference. I'm sure this is how your household is too, but with five kids, it's always like this. It's every day. Um, every moment, this is kind of what life is. And um, with don't with sweating the small stuff and just pushing forward um, is what I want to share with you. Hey, Linda, I had a class on Saturday and I was all day with my kids running errands on Friday, getting ready for a class. And at 1130 at night, I was gathering all the stuff for our rally on Saturday. I knew I had to get up at six in the morning to go to the event in Marion and I had a strong prompting that I needed to text everyone up north um, to let them know about the event. And of course, in my head, I could say, I'm too tired. It's 1130. I've had a long day. And I have this thought that comes to my mind. And I could say, well, it's just a thought. Just blow it aside. But I knew it was a prompting. And the only way we're going to understand if it's a prompting or not is just to follow through with it and see what happens. Because anything good comes from God. And so I followed through with it. I told my husband, I'm like, I've got to send this text out. Let me get the address of the church where we're going to have it. And then I just said a prayer and asked God to help magnify that work. So I sent out 250 texts um, through my project broadcast in hopes that it affected one person. And that was, and I said, God, if sending 250 texts for one person, if that's what you wanted me to do, then let it be. So on Saturday morning, I had a sweet lady come put her arm around me and say, thank you so much for that text and for reminding me because I'm here because of that text. So it taught me a lot that um, young living and doing this as a business or even sharing takes sacrifice. It takes time, hard work, and pushing forward. If I didn't have the vision that I have that I want to serve where God wants me to serve and to bless who he wants to bless, then I wouldn't have sent that text out at 1130 at night. I would have said that's not even worth it, but it is worth it. I was so excited to see this lady so excited to be there to make the DIYs that we had. She'd never been to a, an event like this and only was able to stay half time. So my motivation for you today is listen to what comes to your heart and your mind. Make sure your vision is clear and that you push forward to do it because it's not easy. I will tell you that every day, for me especially in the summer, I work full time as a mother. I have five children who have lots of needs and um, and I need to be there for them and then to push forward to continue to serve my team. So I just pray that each of you have the strength to push forward, especially in the summer when it's a little bit crazier, maybe it's a little bit more challenging to you. but. Because I just did that one thing at 1130 at night, one new person was able to come and to be influenced the way she was supposed to be influenced. So sweat the small stuff, continue to reach out, even if it's one more person to your class, set one more schedule. And I just know the blessings will come. I know that all the blessings that have happened to me is because I sweat the small stuff. And my husband right now is cooking downstairs because I haven't had any chance to work today. And I said, okay, you cook. And I'll do an hour of my work. And I'm just so grateful to tag team with him and just squeezing in time um, to make it happen. So my challenge is to you. If I can do it, so can you. 
Have a great night. I would love for you guys to comment below maybe what's one thing you're going to sweat. Maybe it's sending out 10 more texts or reaching out to a friend about our promo. We have an awesome promo going on right now. It's the end of the night. Just send out one more. You never know who that one person you're going to influence and bless in their life um, today. Have a great evening.